Hey, cheers. Cheers, brother. Woo! Oh, baby. You up hot. Have a look in there. Man. Mm. What's happening, guys? We back. Another episode of Cooking with Volk. I know it's been a long time. I know everyone's like, when are you doing another episode? We are here, and guess what we got? We're gonna be doing some uh, pies. What are we calling it? Bush tucker pie? Bush tucker pie, yeah. And yeah, look who I got pie. with me, Snowy. Yeah, some of you probably already know the fella. If anyone knows a pie, this man knows a pie. Wanna well, tell him a bit about yourself. What do you do? Um, well, I'm a crane operator now, but I used to be a concreter, but my life and my passion is dog's eyes, meat pies. And I'll tell you what, today we've got an absolute doozy for you. What do we got? We got a bit of a uh, kangaroo. Some kangaroo meat. Kangaroo so that's, meat. That's what we're going with. We're going kangaroo. Kangaroo was a hit last time when we did the kangaroo burgers. Oh, that's good. So uh, I thought let's do a kangaroo pie, uh, mate. How good is that going to be? Man, I'm going to get it started. This is going to be pretty easy. Anything uh, I reckon you guys can do it. Obviously, you can. You know, with the gravy and whatnot, we'll explain how we're doing it. You could do it yourself, but you're going to get the jits of how it's done. Uh, this is going to be one that we're going to be doing here at the Illawarra Hotel. Some of you might remember it as uh, the Volkanovski. So we did a, did a gig here, it was uh, incredible. It's my spot, I love to be here, so let's get stuck into it. You know, we're going to sear some of this kangaroo meat. We're going to do the gravy. Yeah, we're going to get that all sorted. We're going to chuck that in the pressure cooker and then obviously uh, tenderize that meat and uh, you know, let the flavors really mix in. It's going to be in there for like 45 minutes to an hour. Uh, but let's get into it. What are we gonna do first? We're gonna get some oil, aren't we? Yeah, we're gonna get the oil first. Yeah, I'll let you have a squirt. You know what? I'm gonna swap with you. Yeah, let's hey, have remember, you, mate. I'm a cripple, guys. You don't wanna put too much oil in. You don't want it swimming in oil. You just want a nice little coat in there. And uh, you don't wanna overcrowd the pan with your uh, with you your meat. No matter what. Woo! Here we go. Just about half. Just about that. Sizzling like that. You see it popping. That's what you want. Nice and uh, nice and seared. You don't wanna move it around too much. Leave it there. Get a good coating on it. Spread it out a bit. I'm gonna leave it, you know, get a good sear across the whole thing. Leave it there for two minutes, three minutes. I know you want to touch it when it's there cooking, but just leave it alone. So we'll let him sear there for a little bit. We were saying the idea here, we want a good sear in the pressure cooker. It's gonna soften up. But right now we're trying to get a good sear. So that's why we've got the oil. That's why he's gonna like slowly turn it, make sure it gets a good sear. Yeah. And then we're gonna use the other half. But just leave him alone for a little bit. You wanna get the good colour. Colour is flavour. And um, you want to leave him there for a little bit. You're seeing it, it's just popping. You want to touch it, but don't touch it. Make Let it get the colour on there. Let it sear up. Beautiful. Don't be afraid of a bit of colour. Because when you put it in the um, pressure cooker, it's going to fall off a bit. It's going to all join in with the gravy. So don't be afraid of a little bit of colour. If you think it might be looking a little bit burnt even, just don't be afraid. It's all right. Just leave it there. Let him get that colour on. I reckon we're ready to roll. Us. So it's been about a minute, minute and a half each side. Um, and yeah, I reckon we're good to go. Let's get in. Sorry, mate. Whip I'll him in. Yeah, do that for you, my bad. That's all right, mate. Obviously we seared the meat, now we want to sear the onions, get a bit of the flavours in there, and then we're chucking it all in the pressure cooker, so it all just gets all their flavours, get cooking. So let's do it. Onions. So on the bottom of your pan, you'll have a, a few bits of like meat left on there, stuck on there, and you just get the onions in there, they're a little so bit part. wet. And they see how they're just getting all that colour off the meat. We're going to chuck some of these uh, pepper berries. Tasmanian pepper berries. Oh, he yeah. knows all about it. See, there you go. So we're going to put two tablespoons of those. Native to Tasmania. Mate. There you go, I'll let you do that. Yeah, I'll do that. Line. So you want about two, uh, I'm a chef, so I know. That's, <laughs> that's, it, that. that's about two there. Mate, I reckon that's perfect. Yeah. Right, the pepper berries uh, on the high heat, it activates the pepper berries. Get it in there with the youngins, searing him up, getting all that colour. Come in here and have a look at this colour, mate. My mouth's watering, to be honest. Can you smell it? Yeah, mouth. Smell them pepper berries? Oof. You cook the meat, you've you got that? the juices there and all that, and then you're, you're chucking the onions. I like to do that, I even make my own gravy with uh, the meat, you know, you, you get the, the blood from the meat and all the flavours from the meat, you know what I mean? You mix it even with a little bit of flour if you want, and there's a the gravy in itself. But, what the fla the actual gravy we are going to use is the one that the guys use here at Illawarra. I love their gravy, yeah, so uh, there's no way I'm making my own. I want to use theirs because they've got a down pat. Um, that's a secret as well. So, but you can use whatever gravy you want. Packet gravy, whatever, does not matter. But uh, I'm sticking to the Illawarra or the Volkanovski, whatever you want to do it. I'm still claiming the, the Volkanovski <laughs> hotel, but uh, you can use uh, that gravy. I recommend um, you ask your nan. Nan will know. Nan knows good gravy. Yeah, man, exactly Every nan right. knows. 
extra flavour, or extra you know, the next extra butter, extra flavour. Yeah, you know, when they're, fat, you know, they're not afraid of a bit of fat, old man. You know, their sandwich always there. tastes better. You know why? Because yeah. there's about an inch thick of butter. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Alright, that's everything uh, chucked in there with seed, the pepper berries, onions, and obviously the kangaroo meat. Uh, now we're just going to get some extra flavours. Here, we got, look at that, salt bush, native to Australia. Got a salty flavour in there. I think that's perfect. We're chucking it all in there, yeah? I reckon all of it. I love my salt. There we go, bang. Now Easy. the famous gravy. Again, you could use whatever gravy you want. You know, you can make it yourself. You can uh, just get packet gravy, it doesn't matter. Uh, whatever you like, it's gonna work. So I'm gonna tip, uh, we've got a fair bit here, I'm gonna tip, tip about half of that in, because that's pretty full. So let's get that in there. All right, so yeah, so we've got the salt bush in there. Now uh, some extra flavors in there. Oh yeah. Look what we've got, some beer and... Nice stout, some red wine here, we just got a some Merlot. Um, but yeah. So All right, how so much yeah, this is a local beer too. So I'm gonna put about half a beer in there. Yeah. And uh, how much of that will you put oh, in? Oh, well, roughly three glugs, you reckon? Oh, what do you reckon? Glug, yeah. That yeah, yeah mate, you know, this is 12% too, by the way, so <laughs> get a bit of a kick, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? So, uh, Don't drive home after you eat this pie. Yeah. Glug, glug, glug. Oh. Okay, well, Perfect. yep, that's good. Just gonna give that a quick stir. Like that. Yep. So obviously it looks a little wet now, uh, but that's gonna thicken up. You know what I mean? So uh, it's all good. So that's a perfect. I think that's good, yeah? Mate, that looks unreal. That'll that thicken right up. You know, get a bit of heat on there. You about to lick it? Am I allowed to drink that yet? <laughs> Jeez, that looks good, man. It does look good. It smells good. Smell now, it. so we're going to do that for about 45 minutes to an hour on high. Lock it up. And obviously, it's going to tenderize. The flavors are going to all go to. Oh, mate. You know, I'm mouth's watering. Oh, man. I can't even explain it if properly. You can smell it. But yeah, uh, obviously, you can imagine what's happening <laughs> in there. We're going to exactly make that uh, meat that. As I said, the kangaroo can be a little uh, tough sometimes. Not tough, but I mean, it's a, again, it's high in protein. It needs to be called, cooked right. They call it gamey, but... Gamey, yeah. yeah oh, I love right. gamey, especially for meat pies. Uh, I explained this in my last episode. When you use gamey meats, uh, you know, for soups or pies mm. and things like that, it actually adds a really good flavour. Yeah, they tenderise up real good when you start cooking it like this. With the, the liquid that's in there now, well, just exactly pull all the flavours right out, it'll it does. melt. I nope. think the gaming meats are the best for that. Yeah, and nope. kangaroo, hey, let's make it as Aussie as we can. As you said earlier, yep. the best part, the pastry, right? You've got to get it right. You know, we're going to actually use puff pastry. A bit controversial, I'm... you know, it's not very structurally sound normally, but they're doing it in such a way they've showed me and they've convinced me that it's going to be bloody beautiful. Look, to be honest, I love puff, puff pastry. I use yeah. it with a bit. And what I love about it, because again, for you guys at home, everyone has fucking puff pastry in the freezer. So, how good is that? We can make a, a pie whenever we want, because I know you've got that shit in the freezer. So, <laughs> that's what we're going to do. Now, how big do we want it? So, for us today, it's different yeah. for everyone. Whatever container you've got, this is you what know, we're just going. work it out for us. But we've got a container, it looks like this, this size. This is our bowl. It's roughly one shucker. Just like <laughs> I that. I love that, I love that. <laughs> one shucker big. So, we, we, yeah, so he's uh, found out that it's one shucker big. And we'll just and slap we'll just him on there like that. that, and then you just circle him right around the edge. Just grease him up. You don't want it sticking in there. Don't forget the edges. Oi! There we go. Bloody hell. Yeah. Because well, you cut this perfect, mate. <laughs> it was easy. There we go. There Look go. at that. Grab him like this. In, let it drop in there. Straight over the top. Try oh, and center it as best that you can. I missed the fucking thing, eh? <laughs> <laughs> so you just get him nice and central over your container, whatever you're going to use. Nice and central, just like this. Looking over it like that. Draped over. And then you just want to push him in there real nice. Just give him a hand, pull up the sides as you go in so you don't break it. Just get it in there as best that you can and then fold the edges around as you go on so it doesn't just sort of um, collapse in on itself. I'll make it a meal of this one. Okay. Fold him around as you go on, just like that. We need uh, two of these. Eh? All right, so we need uh, two of these. Eh? Jesus, that's hard work. It's ready. All right, now you've done a great job with that. Cheers, mate. So what we're gonna do, because we're gonna obviously cook this, you know, like yeah. to cook this, you know, yep. before the gravy's even in, in there, the yeah? So uh, a good way of uh, keeping the pastry in there, we're gonna put a bit of paper. Yeah, a little bit of wax good paper. Little, good little trick uh, that the, the local uh, chef told us. So bacon paper in there, spread it out, and then, here it is. Yeah. So rice to keep it in there, yeah, to keep it down, keep it stuck to the you know pan. So, it so there's a up. bit of weight, yeah, exactly. Get in there, put some weight there. I think that's good. That's good, man. So you just you just go. enough in there to to keep that uh, paper in the bottom that's to it. keep the the paste. So I'm going to spread that around molded, still, molded to the bottom, so you can see what we mean by Unreal. that. Keep it on there. 15 minutes. Blind baking is uh, what it's called, uh, and uh, yeah, and that'll be good. 
enough to put the gravy in, and then we're gonna obviously finish it all off. Let's slap it in, eh? Let's do it. All right, so we're almost done. Nearly there. We're almost done. Now we're just gonna chuck a lid on it, and then obviously it's going in the oven. Mm. So what, how big we want this? So um, we've come to an agreement that it's about a, obviously his shaka was for big. the base. Way too big. My little cripple shaka will be perfect for the lid. Look at that. There you go. Little cripple shaka. Right on there. Or there just a go. bowl, you know, your standard size bowl. Exactly. Out of your cupboard. Again, it depending on what pie you want. You want a family pie and you made it bigger, it does not matter. But just make it enough size for the lid of the of the pie. Yeah, just run a knife around the edge. Nice and snug. There we go. There's one. Wash. Just just a little bit. Just want to coat the top, just in the egg wash. Uh, just so it crisps up nice and golden. Too much, you'll get a bit soggy, a bit wet. Alright. Guess like what? That. We're done. Well done, mate. I appreciate yeah, that. Yeah, no worries, man. I, I love being a cripple. I don't have to do nothing. <laughs> I don't have to get my hands dirty. Now we get to chuck that in the oven. We're almost there. Yeah. And we're going to dig straight into it. Eat him. Let's chuck it in. Right How up. good do they look? Mate, it looks unreal. Do they look good? Have a look at that. Golden. Look, look at that. Jeez Perfect. Louise. Looks unreal. Nah, but uh, yeah, man. They look uh, incredible. Let's get stuck into it. Yeah, man. Let's right not, let's hey, we're we're going to obviously you can uh, plate it and do it all fancy, but that's not how we're doing it in Australia. Nah. We cheers Grab it. one hand just like this. All right, you tell me how to get, you know, oh, how you do you do it? Eating technique? Yes. So we've got the claw and shelf technique. Claw so, and shelf So you make a little claw just like this. I got whack it. Whack your claw around, and, and then boom, underneath. straight underneath right. the shelf. Remember, and no it, tomato sauce, because no we got all sauce. the flavors. Hey, cheers. Cheers, brother. Let's go. Righto. What's the crunch? Ooh. Oh, baby. What pop. Have a look in there. Mm. Man. Mm. Those chunky bits of kangaroo, oh, sensational. Oh, mate, that's good. That rich gravy. Mate. I'm, gonna, I'm even getting tipsy from all the alcohol, too. I want to go nah. two-handed two technique, really rub it into your ear. Mm. Mm. I want to get some of that meat. Look yeah. at this. Yeah? Look at that. Unreal. Look at that. I can use my lips. You know, I'm using my lips to break that. Beautiful. That, that peppercorn, it sort of adds a little bit of sweet flavor to it. Mm. Mmm, man, that's delicious. Unreal. Well done. Dana White, when he does his uh, Fuck It Friday. Oh, yeah. He's just saying everything he eats is like just straight out the oven. No time You to see him, he's like sitting there burning his mouth out. I'm like, fuck, he's a busy man. He can't even wait two minutes. I don't know. Uh, how does it go? How is it? All right. Is we'll, it good? We'll do a, do a formal it? review. Oh, oh right, I need another go. bite. I need another it. bite, mate. All right, give me a crack. Oh, it comes meat are good. Oh, man. That tender kangaroo, unreal. Dude, he's had the best pies you could ever think of. Look, I'm not expecting this to be the greatest pie of all time. So I want you to give me an honest, honest review. review. Honest so review. So 10, uh, you know, obviously one to 10. 10 is the pinnacle, I've given yeah, one 10. Like one tens. 10 in my whole life. You can be real this, with it, be real. I'm being real. This is a nine out of 10, this pie. A nine, a out, nine out, of out of 10, mate. I was <laughs> expecting maybe eight, nah. seven, eight. This, this is a nine. It's, all right, mate, good. This, this, this tender, Kangaroo, okay. the Australia, it just tastes like Australia. I'll give it a 10, but I mean, I know he's obviously tra traveling to Australia. I've had a few more bottles than him now. <laughs> well, Little there you birth. go, man. Well, I appreciate Unreal, that. Unreal, man. Uh, hey, so if you want to give yourselves a, a crack at this, I think the guys uh, here at Illawarra, Hotel are going to be doing it anyway. So give it a crack, see how you go. And hey, thanks, Snowy. I really appreciate you coming to help me out with that. No worries, buddy. And uh, till next time, love yous, I'm going to leave yous. Mwah.